When I got this PS2 value point system, it was marked as bad. Well, it's safe to say it's anything but bad. Spoiler alert, all it really needed was RAM surprisingly and well a hard drive. It's got IDE support, so we can pretty much adapt to, well, anything. The most popular solutions out there are CF flashcard readers, however, I'm choosing to adapt mine to SD cards. Why, you may ask? Well, they're cheap, affordable, I could find them anywhere, and I can partition them to have, well, anything I want on them, such as FreeDOS. This means I can pull this SD card out of my system, plug it in a new system, go into the boot options, boot from it, it will load into FreeDOS, and I could play all my DOS applications and games directly off the SD card. It does mean some slightly lower loading times from my understanding, considering Compact Flash doesn't have to do, go through any kind of conversion to work with a system like this. However, with IDE to SD, there is a bit of conversion there, so you do lose out, some, lose out on some speeds. However, from my personal experience, I haven't noticed it at all on my 486 base system. But then again, I only run DOS. It might be a different story if I boot into Windows 3.1 or something. The only downside to this adapter that I bought is, well, the mounting solution. There is no mounting solution on this thing. It has a few holes, you can buy a PCI-based bracket. However, there was no ISA slot-based mounting, well, hardware available that I could find. So I decided to 3D print my own, and well, my first attempt was meant to snap into the DVD port on, well, the front of the case. Unfortunately, this means I would need lengthier cables to get that accomplished, and I just didn't feel comfortable with it up there in the front of the case when this thing already has a problem sliding on and off. However, when I was going about making my own card to adapt this thing to the back of the PC through one of the ISIS slots, I however found a model online. I give all credit to whoever made this model, I'll link it down below in the description, but thank you so much, you saved me a lot of filament. Now was all this effort worth it? Well, from my experience, yes, I can easily pop this thing out of my system, put it in a newer system, copy games on or off, and then put it back in, and it just seems like it works. And if I wanted to, I could install FreeDOS on one of the empty partitions on this card, and I'd have like a mobile SD card based DOS uh, boot disk that I can just carry around with me and put into, well, any new system that can support an SD card. With that said, this video is pretty much done and over with in terms of all the hardware I added to the system and what I needed to do to get it fixed. However, before I go when it came to software on this machine, it's the same story as before with what I did with the previous IBM, the Model 56. I loaded in some mouse drivers, changed the auto exec file, and well installed cursed Linux commands so you can actually use Linux commands on this system. I know it's cursed, but... It's what I like to use, so I like using LS, and I'm going to put LS on my systems. But then again, both our options are well available, so feel free to use DIR or LS if you ever get a computer from me. Anyway, for the rest of this video, I'm going to let gameplay, well, play out. I'll let this machine speak for itself and show you guys how well the performance is with it when it comes to running off of, well, SD cards. future plans with this overall hardware that I plan to, well, change. Like I said earlier, I gotta mod the icons or anything like that or want a video tutorial on it, let me know, maybe I can guide you through.